Hey, what's up? Y'all, it's Coach Rock here from Revenge Basketball. And in today's video, we're gonna be going through a few tips that will help you improve your shooting accuracy so that you can shoot the ball better, more consistently. Let's get into it. All right, so one of the primary ways that you can improve your shooting accuracy is by simply shooting the ball straight, okay? Great shooters, they rarely miss left to right. They usually miss short or long, but they pretty much always shoot the ball straight. All right, so just by shooting the ball straight, you will instantly be able to increase your accuracy. The key for all this is targeting, all right? I've talked about it on this channel before. Find a spot on the rim, target, preferably the middle of the rim. You could do the front. You could do, so you want the middle of the hoop, but it could be the front, middle, or back kind of of the rim. So you want to find a spot there, all right? I don't care what spot you choose, just make sure it's one of these middle spots, front, mid inside or be or in the back of the rim all right so that's the first key once you find whatever you feel comfortable with stick to that spot every single time don't change all right so stick to that that's the first part is to getting used to targeting now the next thing we're going to do is a few drills that can help with that targeting all right so the first one one of my favorites is you can pick a spot on the backboard I like to use the wall, so we'll move to the wall in a second, and I like to use the side of the backboard. So first, the side of the backboard is pretty difficult because it's so thin, right? If you miss too far to the left, too far to the right, if you're not shooting straight, the ball's not gonna come back to you. It's gonna hit a corner, and the ball's gonna go either direction. All right, so right now what you would need is three different spots. All right, so the first thing we're gonna train here is getting used to finding a target and hitting that target so for example right now let's just say i find one of these lines on the wall you could put a piece of tape up there i used to do this at home i had a tall garage and i would put like a piece of tape right there so anywhere but for here i'm gonna just focus on a line you don't even need a piece of tape and what i'm trying to do is just target and hit that line every time and that's just going to train me all I'm working on right now is targeting, all right? So, boom. The next thing, the next drill you can work on is using this baseline right here as a line, shooting the ball in the air and trying to hit the line. Basically, all I'm doing here is trying to shoot the ball straight. I was a little left right there. So let me like really focus. All right. So you can do that a few times. All you're doing again is trying to shoot the ball straight. The last thing, you're, the last drill is using the side of the backboard. This is the hardest one. I recommend you start with the other two first because this one is really gonna hold you accountable because if you're a little too far left or a little too far right and you're not shooting straight, then the ball is just gonna go everywhere, all right? So I can't promise you that I'm gonna get it perfect every time. But that one was pretty good, came right back to me. That's basically what I'm trying to do right here. Now let's see what happens if I miss left. If I, well, I keep hitting it straight. See how I miss a little left? If I miss a little right, it goes that way. So you're trying to shoot the ball straight. If you can do that consistently, then you'll be pretty good at shooting the ball straight, which is gonna help your shooting accuracy. And then we can start implementing more things in our, real, in our real drills that we start to do. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you can hold yourself accountable and only you can count your makes or as you get better, you can do, okay, I'm only gonna count the swishes. So anytime you hit rim, like, oh no, that wouldn't count. All you're trying to do here, just focus on hitting swishes or you can focus on with that. You see what that just did? It hit the back, deep back of the rim swish and the ball came back to me. You can go from counting makes to counting swishes to counting, only counting perfect deep of the rim swishes where the ball comes back to you. When you shoot a shot perfectly and the arc is perfect and it hits deep in the rim, it will come back to you. 
This is like, this is when you have a picture perfect shot. You'll see it a lot in the NBA where a guy will shoot from like say the top of the key and it'll look like the ball didn't even hit the net because it hit so deep in the rim. That's when you know your arc is perfect. So you can challenge yourself. First, start simple. Just do the typical every shot you shoot. See if you make it or miss it. But then as you get better, you can count only swishes. Then as you get better, you can really challenge yourself to count only deep of the rim, deep back of the rim makes where the ball comes back to you. All we're doing here, I don't have any spots in particular. I'm just getting used to targeting, finding that target, hitting that target. Right now we can say I'll only focus on swishes. If you found the video helpful and you're looking to take your game to the next level, be sure to click the link in the comments. The first link is pinned there. That'll take you to our website, revengebasketball.com slash YouTube. And I'll show you my three biggest secrets to becoming a lights out shooter in real games. That's going to drastically help you improve as a player, become a more dominant player, more dominant scorer on the court. If you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up for me. Comment below. Let me know what other video topics you want to see here. I get all my video topics from you guys. All right. So yeah, comment below. Let me know anything you need help with or just show me some love in the comments. Last but not least, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Until next time, I'll see you then.